Kano would be freed if IPOB locks down Southeast for two weeks. Deji Adeyanju. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Kano, who was charged with terrorism and treason, is currently being held in custody of the Department of State Services, DSS. Now the news in detail. A human rights activist and convener of the concerned Nigerians group, Deji Adeyanju, has identified the seat of tomb order by the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, as the only way to secure the quick release of Namde Kano, the leader of a separatist group. He advised that the southeast part of the country should effectively embark on a two-week lockdown in order to facilitate the release of the detained agitator. Adeyanju made this claim off his Facebook page on Saturday while knocking the president's Muhammad Buhari's government. If the seat at home in the south is 100% effective and everywhere is on lockdown for two weeks, Namdi Kani will be released soon. Once something is paining them so much, press their neck more, Adeyanju wrote. Kano, who was discharged with terrorism, who was charged with terrorism and treason, is currently being held in custody of the Department of State Services, DSS. IPOB had earlier on Thursday via a statement by its media and publicity secretary, Ima Powerful, frowned at a continued compliance with a seat at home every Monday in the southeast region, even after it's called off the order. After they called off the order, the group had urged residents to go about their normal lawful duties on Mondays, warning that it would deal with anyone found enforcing seat at home on that day. Meanwhile, since August 9th, when the sit at home exercise initially called by IPOP began in the southeast, residents have continued to comply with the other every Monday, even after the group was called off. After the group called off the exercise two weeks later, it was observed that residents, despite the cancellation, have continued to observe the Monday sit at home following attacks launched on some people who attempted to do business on that day by some faceless individuals. But these individuals had at some point burnt vehicles and other property, which in turn created fears in the people. IPOP, however, said it will no longer tolerate forcing the people indoors in the name of a council seat at home order. This one is somehow, sincerely, this one is really, really somehow. <laughs> Mr. Deji, the people of the South is will ask you why not to channel this particular energy you're channeling into their issues to your to to just the leader of uh, your nation. Um, they will they will call you out. <laughs> they will call you out sincerely. Ibo is always is also I mean in detention and he has been asking the Republic to release him. They detained him. Oh yeah, tell us the crime I committed. No. Let me go for treatment. No. So, Mr. Deji and Anju, and the people of Biafra will tell you, call you out to, you know, channel this energy now you're using to advise them and to tell them what and what to do to make sure the leader is out. They are going to tell you to channel the same energy to, I mean, making sure you strategize on how to go about bringing out the said leader of the Yoruba nation. Okay. Adeyemo should evolve a concrete plan of action to free Sunday Adeyemo, aka Sunday Ibuho, or is it comfortable being in detention in Benin Republic, or is Adeyemo mocking the South is by crying more than the bereaved? Hmm. Okay, I just said it now. That um, you know the best thing should be that he should tell this information now, and you know. Give it to the right, channel it to the right direction. This energy now that he's using to suggest. The truth remains that it is not going to be easy. In fact, only sitting at home for one day that has been imposed on these people, not by IPOB anymore, because IPOB has come out to say, um, we are not involved. We are not the ones that keeps enforcing this sit at home order. They have come out to say it and... <laughs> 
they have said it that in fact if they see anybody enforcing any other that they are going to have that person dealt with so um i think these people are still sitting indoors because one or two or three incidents have occurred where people step out of their houses on monday and um, they have been harassed back or they have been attacked that is why you see um, people are now staying indoors not because they are so obedient to the orders because of course this particular um enforcement happens because or they sit at home orders now happen because they are scared to step out now let us look of at what this thing is going to imply there was a time they even frightened one week and um, sit at home this was um cl very close to this <laughs> i think it's about last week yes it was just just this week that passed they issued the one week um sit at home order that you know they wanted to use that to give support to their leader and make sure he is being released but after weighing the consequences of the action i mean they came together and you know maybe people pleaded on the radio that this thing is affecting them or even that one day imagine somebody that if he or she does not step out of his or her house that at the end of the day what happens they were not going to find what to eat this are not going to come out to tell you i'm hungry feed me no they're not going to do that now they are saying allow us to go out what if, if people who if they do not step out that even they try from dusk to dawn and to get free square meals is a problem now you're telling such a person to sit down at home you do you want hunger to you know finish them off that is one issue secondly if this two weeks sit at home happens do you know that hospitals will be shut down are you aware that both hospitals will be shut down both pharmacies will be shut down plus that they, they sell uh, um, medications will be shut down what if there's a health crisis now in any member of the family during that period what if you have a sick aged mother who you need to get drugs for i mean some things maybe you get your normal you know pain reliever you get your normal and keep in the house but what if it is now more than pain reliever nobody's saying nobody is praying for the worst but what if it happens what happens <laughs> that time you know you will not even nobody will be out everywhere will be in total lockdown so i guess that is why they even read they said no this particular one is going to affect our people in a negative way hmm? and the same this sit, two weeks at home people children are supposed to go to school children will keep lacking behind because of what exactly so there are this i'm sure these things that i mentioned and others are what made the ipub went back we strategized and said no this one is going to be you know a big blow on us we are going to be shooting ourselves on the legs and so mr day andrew this is your advice you know it is it is really really it is it's going to do a lot of harm the disadvantage is going to be very 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 large it does not boil down just to one person it spreads and the ripple effect is going to be felt far far beyond on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of the day.